Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Calvin. It's just us again. It's just us. Just us. This is not a catching up. This is not a catching up. We're both equally in the dark. We were gonna do this last night. We had t technical difficulties, so, yeah, so like, we well, couldn't we'll get it. We'll do it tomorrow, but then only me and you can do it. And I'm like, you know yeah. what? Screw it. Let's just old school it. Yeah. Go back to the way things when things were right. Yeah. You know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna react to episode eight of Game of Thrones. You don't know how hard it's been to have this a new Game of Thrones out and not be able to watch it. Right. It sucks. Anyway, uh, we're a little pressed for time even today, so what we're going to do is we're going to skip the recap, go right into the damn show. Sure. We're going to do that. Right? Yep. Button. Button. Okay, so it's already here. I don't know. I don't even know why we would see this again. Uh, is the waif isn't going to kill her to fulfill the, the contract, is she? Yeah, good. the waif wouldn't make any noise. Yeah, it's either that or a ghost. Booger, booger, booger. <laughs> Oh. Uh, I mean, she got stabbed a bunch and then it was twisted, right? Like three times, yeah. So does the wave just think she's dead? Arya? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's she went in the water. She's dead. I mean, they have to collect the faces, right? I guess. And dry them out first. That's the guy that was with the Brotherhood. Those three guys? Oh. Uh, with the one guy with the cloak, right? I think so. Lim lemon cloak. Yeah. Take your middle finger. And you jam it right up her bunghole. Oh, fuck you! Disgusting old twat. Guys, no! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> He's got his axe. <laughs> Nuts! Ugh. Ugh. Mm. Love it. Welcome back. I can't go off on a secret mission in the company of the most famous dwarf in the city. Famous in the world. Ferris! The most famous dwarf in the world. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he is! Guess who's drinking again? She's always drinking. Oh. Take him, take him, take him, take him, go, take him, yeah. yes. Look at that spiky weapon. That would hurt, guys. Move aside, sir. Dwarf head. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't even move. Got your head. Ah. Oh. Oh, it just, he it, it just ripped his head off! <laughs> Look how happy he is. <laughs> I did this. You trust him? His word to her, more than his word to anybody else, I guess. Oathkeeper. You gotta keep that word. Yeah. It's yours. It'll always be yours. I'm not really upset with him. He's he's not wrong. I can't really blame him. I want to go though. Hang out with John and Tormon and One One. <sighs> he hasn't seen a giant. Yeah. Loris Tyrell and Cersei Lannister's trial will be held in the Great Sept of Baelor on the first day of the Festival of the Mother. Trial. Back up. Yes. Click game ball. Oh. Uh, from this day forward, trial by combat will be forbidden throughout the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> What? The tradition is a brutish one. No hype! A scheme devised by... Dang it, Eric! You pretty much just, like, sentence your mom to definitely lose then. Right? Good job, buddy. Just a bit of something more. Oh. Much more. Wildfire? The caches? You seem happy? She's gonna burn the place down. Masters! Shit! Being dicks! We need some Greyjoys in here. Greyjoy fleet? Yeah. Just wreck their shit? Or just let the dragons go. Oh, it's she needs me. And to get back to her, I have to take River Run. Feel bad for him. Mm. 
I pity him. Because he, he didn't he's say, so loyal to her. He didn't say, like, you can't choose who we love or whatever. And, like, a week after he's captured by the Starks, she's banging Lancel. Yeah. That's bullshit. Skinny Lancel, too. Command all the forces within the castle to lay down their arms. Open the gates. That didn't My Lord, take Lord fucking long. Go, go, go. Go on. Go with him. Oh, come on. Come with us. You all serve Sansa far better than I ever could. Go on, now. I haven't had a proper sword fight in years. I expect I'll make a damn fool of myself. Dang it. Dang it. I love the blackfish. We only just got him back. I know. The rain's a cast in there. Fucking Lannister and fucking good Frey banners. Great musical timing. <sighs> Hate it. It's so good. Bring him to me. We died fighting my lord. <sighs> we didn't get to see it. Shit. Oh. Holy shit. What do they call those again? Tur Turboches or something? Trebuchet. Trebuchet. Turboches. <laughs> I have read it. Shit! Look at this shot coming! Holy shit, Eric! Shit, still going. Shit, still going! Shit! Hey, you can get that high. Oh. Oh. Daddy! She's back! She. She oh landed God. on top of it! I like that new outfit. Fuck yeah. Look, like, look at that. Holy Why? shit. Right, did you see that? He's like... Oh, Drogon. Yeah, I saw. Oh, damn it. Blackfish, but that's so cool. Oh, damn it. Uh, oh. Lemon Cloak. Oh. He's being... He's being he's hung. They're hanging him. Eric. Okay. Where's Theros? Theros! Oh, Theros! Sweet! Hanging them. <laughs> you hanging them. Not. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> so badass. <laughs> Lemon cloak. No. Uh, His great beard. Not chicken. Oh, not chicken. No, he does. Shit. Ah. Uh, Jeez. If you'd have done your job, she would have died painlessly. That's that didn't look painless. No. Shit, jeez. Feel better? One day? <laughs> Team like a thousand. Terminator, yeah. Yes, go to the dark. Yeah, that is your prediction about the dark, right? Yeah. Ah! Jump it, jump it, yeah! Fuck. Stealth! <laughs> <laughs> That's like some of my failed missions in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Desynchronized. <laughs> and Arya is running very well for someone that just got stabbed in the gut and twisted. Right? Don't hurry, Waif. Right? I'm not on your side, but what the fuck? I feel like Jacken would be done already. You right? Know? She, she, has too much, she has too much ego. She, she prefers the, the chase to yeah. actually, like... Doing her job. Yes. Yes, in the dark. See, she's leaving a yeah, trail. She's leaving a trail. Picked up our trail. <laughs> right? Yeah. Blow it out. What do we say to the god of death? Not today. Not today. Yeah, like Batman. Ah. Ah. Damn it. Switched away. To the pool? Is she in the pool? No. Okay, good. That was a low shot. You guys got a jacuzzi? <laughs> uh Did she put her she she put, she her, put her face in the, the, the hall of faces? That's what the that's that's all you need to do, right? So yeah. One way or another, a face will be added. Yes! Ah uh, didn't clean it properly. Don't have to kill me. 
He was surprised. Finally, a girl is no one. A girl is Arya Stark of Winterfell. Yeah. Shit. And I'm going home. Go home, go home. Oh, that smile. Huh. He's proud. He is. He's like, yep. I really like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. I'm such a fucking idiot. I, keep, I, I cry for nothing. I what? like that. I just, I like that. That was a cool moment. Oh, crying? Yeah. <laughs> like, no, uh, it, was, it was really good. Like, it's confusing, though, because did he want her to become a faceless man, or he did he want to help her to become Arya? Arya. I mean, he seemed to be proud of that moment. Yeah. I guess you've been happy either way, but... He always liked her back in the day, you know? Yeah, before she yeah. even had an interest in... It makes it, it makes it that. think, did he, like, help her along and give her the tools she needed to be able to to do what she needs to do? Knowing that she wouldn't become a faceless man. Ah, oh, damn it, that was cool. I mean, completely, all those theories that people had about, well, it wasn't Arya, it was the way it was. It was somebody nope, else. it was Arya. Yeah, that was... It was so Arya that she became Arya again. <sighs> That was a cool moment. That was a lot of cool moments in this. A lot of moments I was frustrated with, but like Blackfish. Blackfish. That yeah. Of like all of the deaths and stuff, his was just wasn't nearly on the same level. But it was so disappointing. It reminded me of Dorn. Just (laughs) needless. I understand. Yeah. But dude, you can live. Fucking live. Yeah, and you can go hang out with your... your with your, your family. Your grand niece or Yeah, your, your great niece. But it sucks to see him go, but... And I, I off-screen guess, death, too. True. That pissed me off, too. If you're gonna... If you bring it up, so like, three times in a show, it's like, oh, he's an old man. All he can hope for is a, is a good death. Yeah. Give him a fucking good death. I like to think he had a really good death, but... I mean... We didn't could they not afford it? We didn't the, get we didn't get to see Arya's battle either, but no. there I was actually kind of happy with that. I thought it like fit the story a little bit. Well, it it felt like we were actually put in the position of like a normal person, yeah, someone who couldn't, you know, sense where they were. Yeah, because if like, if they had stayed there an extra five minutes, we would have heard sounds. We wouldn't have seen yeah. anything. So yeah, that actually does kind of work. And I love that Arya was luring it to that point. You know, yeah, it makes me think: Was Arya? She knew that she had. The way after, did she was she trying to lure her out to be able to get her to this? You mean was she trying to to be caught basically yeah, by visiting I, the? I don't know, because the faceless men wouldn't just stop hunting you if you left Bravos. No, they, they would pursue you forever until the the hole was filled, pretty much. Right? Yeah, I mean they have a they have a reputation. I mean Even in Westeros, I think that uh, there were there would have been a lot of coincidences for that to have been her plan, but it could just be. It could have just. Been it could be fun writing, but maybe skill. not. Maybe not the best writing. Yeah, I don't know. It was interesting though. Um, I, the one thing that I don't like about that story, and I can see why a lot of people are gonna say, you know, this is a big waste of time and stuff. If she's just going back, whatever, that's fine. I actually really enjoyed the last two scenes of Arya's story. Yeah, but the thing I did not like is that she got stabbed a bunch of times and twisted, and then she's fine. Yeah, Drogo got cut. And died. I mean, yeah, there was a witch in there, but, you know, Robert Baratheon got hit by a boar, infection, died. Eddard, he got stabbed in the thigh, and he almost fucking died. You know, remember him, like, sweating on the bed, you know? Yeah. Arya got in the gut, twisted, all that bacteria in her gut, getting into the bloodstream and shit. Yeah. She's fine. So that's a little, it's a little bit of plot armor right there, but... I, yeah. Eh, whatever. I, I get that. Yeah. So where's Arya going? She says she's going she's west. Going home. Where is she going in Westeros, though? Winterfell? I mean, she when she gets there, she's going to realize that the Boltons have it. Will she try to go north? Uh, she could kill the Boltons. She could kill all the Boltons. She has the ability now to kill. I want her to go to the twins. Kill some Freys. Kill some fucking Freys. Fucking poison their hats. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> they put their hats on in the mornings. Go. Yeah, just put a little man- put a manicure in every little hat in the morning. <laughs> um, that Varys is also going to Westeros. Yeah. So that's interesting. Maybe they'll share a cap. I don't really know what Why he's. He? Well, I have an idea of what he's doing, because Varys still has a very significant scene that was in the books that's not in the show it yet. Hasn't happened yet. That was also in the trailer. 
So I have a good idea what's happening there, but we'll we'll get to we'll get there. Yeah. Cersei and Kyburn were talking about a rumor. Which I definitely think is wildfire. That's gotta be wildfire, right? Yeah. Because in the vision we saw wildfire exploding. Yeah, we saw it exploding, but it never happened That's in the that, war. Yeah, it never happened and that never happened during the uh Mad King stuff. Yeah. So she's gonna burn the fucker down and just light the set on fire? There's several different caches around the city. I mean it's wildfire though. I mean the collateral damage, I mean she could fucking kill Tommen with that. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. I mean, that, I if she kills the High Sparrow, she's going to kill Loris. Yeah. As long as Marjorie gets out, I'm fine. <laughs> you don't care want, about Tommen, just She's Marjorie. pretty much the only one at King's Landing I'm really into right now. And the mountain. Yeah. Uh, well, a big thing, <laughs> uh, one of the big questions we had last episode is the Brotherhood. Like, what? why the Brotherhood such dicks? Yeah. And I kind of thought it went into the whole LS theory for people in the know. But no, uh... Just those guys were dicks, and their brother who was trying to clear their name. Yeah. So like, did they get too radical? Yeah. I mean, I like, I love Thoris, and I love uh, Beric, so that's cool. I'm sure we got a lot of questions about that yeah. one, so we'll wait for that. Now, Brienne and Jamie, in their talk, Brienne said that she serves Sansa, and Sansa will become... She's going to get her home she's back. She's going to get her home back. She didn't mention John at all. You no, know she did. I wonder if that was, like, one purpose because when she's well she's talking to the blackfish blackfish might not like john he might not you know because yeah. i mean he would be the it, bastard it would be like a reminder it would be a reminder that you know his niece's husband sired a son that wasn't with his niece you know yeah maybe that was a calculated move maybe i don't know maybe she doesn't want to give away too much information in case i just out. i just figured if you're like hey you have to come because there's a fucking zombie army led right? by, you know, ice ring wraiths, and the only guy that's helping us out right now died already and came back to life. This is, this is we got business, right? I but, feel like nobody's bringing up this, this well, massive happening. But Beric did. He said in the, in the north, the cold winter, the cold winds are rising. Yeah, makes me think: Are the Brotherhood going to be involved with that at all? I mean, because I mean, the red, the red priests seem to have some kind of connection. Or they can see visions of that, right? That's what Melisandre did, and yeah. Doris is there. I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot to think about. It could about. be. I mean, they don't owe allegiance to any any lord or anything like that. They're yeah. they're there to protect the people. Yeah. Kind of the same way that the uh, the Night's Watch the Night's Watch is. It's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, that's a real good point. I mean, they've been attacking. Uh, villainous lords down in the south just yeah. to kind of keep busy but they've been building their forces too it's yeah. like hey you know we're doing all these things around here to be good guys join us mm -hmm. and we'll go up north and wreck these fools yeah well I, I would enjoy that that would be cool I would like that um the only other thing I really have uh in terms of not really liking in this episode is I'm not really enjoying what they're doing with Jamie no. I mean, to point out a couple of things with Jamie and Edmure's conversation. Well, one, I do think it's interesting that Jamie keeps insisting that he's treated well. Yeah. Because he was a he was captive he was a captive for himself like a year or two or something yeah. like that. But I, I'm I don't I do not enjoy or understand or well I guess I kind of understand it. I don't like his obsession with Cersei. You know. Yeah. I he's a smart enough guy. I yeah. feel like at this point he would see that. She's just a self-serving, yeah, just warmongering, hate yeah. slinging just, bitch. Jamie's always going on about how I've only ever loved one woman. Yeah, you can't choose who you love or whatever. But she does not feel the same way. She when does he, not. When he got, she uses him when he got captured. Like you were saying, she two minutes later she was banging skinny Lancel. Yeah, not even like decently looking filled out Lancel. No. Decently looking. <laughs> a lot of people have talked about, and I talked about this last week, about redemption arcs for Jamie, and I just never felt like he was truly on one. I think this kind of confirms it. Like, yeah, he just, I mean, he is not the same person when he's with Brienne, which no, does make not. it seem like, you know, like we talked about Pod being impressionable, impressionable, but I think Jamie's impressionable just in a different way. He obviously has a lot yeah. of ego, but he definitely is different people depending on who who he's with. You know, a yeah. different person. I, I feel like if he could spend a lot more time with Brienne, yeah, that he would like normalize into like a decent a person. Decent person. Like what Edmure was saying, decent. But you know, fucking Edmure, 
he was going off like, how do you sleep at night? And, you know, if you're a decent person. And then he just betrays everybody. Right. For, it's like, I mean, I'm sleeping at night now. I understand that he fucking, he has a son, you'll kill your son. Yeah, but, but that's I mean, not even... That's a son with his enemies. With the phrase. With the fucking phrase. It's an innocent baby, though. He's gonna wear those fucking hats. <laughs> those fucking hats. With a fish on it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I understand his conflict. I just thought it was done too easily. Now, maybe the actor was trying to portray con- like he, conflict, but I got, what I got from his was, was like... Weakness. Weakness, yeah, but it also, like... Um, like spite, like why why sentence the blackfish? Was that part of the arrangement? I don't know. I didn't like that. Anyway, I don't really have. Maybe else. it was a little bit of of him being in the noose and whatever. They were holding a knife to his neck. He's like, yeah. "Hey, give us the castle, or we kill him." It's like, go ahead. Maybe he maybe that was why he was like, "Hey, get the blackfish and hand him over to Frey's. I feel like I would understand that. I mean, I haven't been in prison the last two years, so maybe I wouldn't, but. I don't know. Um, but those were things that maybe I didn't enjoy so much, but there's still a lot of I enjoyed. Danny coming back, that was awesome. That was incredible. Because, I wish there was more there. Yeah. I I kind of feel that way about Danny with, all the time, but this was a cool <laughs> episode. I do get the feeling that the writers don't know what they're doing with Tyrion sometimes. They yeah, don't have that, him, that scene with they the don't, jokes. They don't know what... I, I like the scene, but it's like, what the hell do we have him do? Like, he's one of the, our biggest stars, one of the biggest actors in the world. And he's in this what, what do we have him say? And we'll have him talk about jokes, yeah. I guess. It's like and I, then I felt like that was that would have been not necessarily a better scene, but I feel like that scene was written specifically for Grey Worm and Missande. Yeah, better. And that, yeah, and you know more character development for them. True. And not necessarily Tyrion interacting yeah. with them. I just love that moment with Danny coming back to Marine because her presence is felt before she's even there. You yeah. Know? Like, the dragon lands, and it's just anticipation, and then they just go down their knees, and then she comes in, you know? Yeah. That was so cool. I, I love that stuff. I mean, I know a lot of people, like, a lot of fans are annoyed with Danny sometimes, and how it's all, like... Because she's, just like, showboating yeah, and stuff like that. I love it. Showboat all she wants. And she's so damn good looking, too, Calvin. <laughs> just can't hold myself. Yeah. Okay. That's all I got. You got anything else? I don't have anything Real else. Real quick, we're going to go to Twitter, and yep. we're going to get a couple of Twitter questions. Then we got to get Calvin out of here. Yeah, I got to stream tonight. Mm, Pokey Monday. Yep. Okay, and as always, you guys can always get in on the Blind Wave reaction review action by uh, going to Twitter at Blind Wave Prod is uh, us, and then uh, hashtag GOTQ&A, and you can ask your questions. Yep. House Heisenberg, Eric, how do you feel knowing LS is now most likely never going to happen? I'm pissed. He's pissed. Um, I'm not pissed. I get it. I feel like if it was going to happen, it should have happened a long time ago. Calvin, you don't understand this theory because I've been. I don't understand it. From it. You. I, I think I know who it is. It's it's Lady Stoneheart. You've right? heard, I, yeah, I've heard it. Surely you've heard of that. Uh, I have no idea. You don't know who it is. Um, so it's a character from the book. It's it's a really 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 cool thing in the book, but I could see why they might not want to do it. And if it was going to happen, it should have happened a while ago. I mean, with uh, everything else that's been happening. And... Yeah. Well, the time frame would just be really weird because I mean I can't really go into it without without giving fully... you more information. That's fine. But it's just it's too it's it's really too late for it to have happened. If it was gonna happen, it should have happened now. So I don't think it's gonna happen. I still am not gonna tell you it. That's fine. And still don't look anything up until we just know for certain, I guess. But uh, I'm not pissed. I enjoy Barrack and I enjoy uh, Thor. So it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Abby says, uh, will you check out the episode nine preview, please? And thank you, uh, just for the hype. Um, no, sorry, Abby. Uh, I understand. I've seen this a lot. People saying like, will you do the trailer? Do the trailer. We actually, we don't, we just don't do episode by episode weekly trailers. Yeah. They spoil too much. And they're, they're pretty spoilery from what I've heard. I don't like, I also, I don't like knowing what the trailer is going to be. I don't like knowing what the episode title is going to be. Yeah. I try not to see any of that stuff. Um, it's just like with all of our other shows, guys. I mean, like, in the beginning of the season, we watch the first trailer or two, you know? Yeah. But we don't go too crazy with it. And then when the season starts, I want the storytellers to tell me 
Not the happen. marketers. Not the marketers. Yeah. yeah the marketers don't... tell too much just yeah. to get the hype. I'm already gonna watch it. Yeah. I don't need to be hyped any more than I am. Yeah, don't don't spoil yeah. it for us just to yeah. try and get a couple more and views. I want to see everything within the episode. I have no idea who like, you know, I didn't know that John wasn't gonna be in this episode. You know? Yeah. Like, I assume that if episode nine is next week, we're gonna get some John action. You know? Probably. So I but I don't I wanna I wanna feel that surprise and that anticipation in the moment yeah so no no trailers um but thank you for the question shannon stark says now danny is back what do you think is going to happen in marine do you think perhaps theon and yara will save the day uh i do i mean they're obviously going there yeah they need a navy It'd be cool if they just fucking just came in from behind and wrecked their shit or take their shit they're pirates and they need more ships. They do need more ships. That would be pretty badass. That I would like be... that. Holy shit, dude. But they just start taking them from the back. Yeah. You know what she needs to do? I mean, regardless, the, I mean, not regardless. If the Great Joy show up or if they don't, just release fucking dragons. That's right? wood on water. Holy shit. That's like. We've already seen what wildfire will do. Yeah. You know? And this is like mobile wildfire. Yeah. yeah. Just do that. Now, I mean, Drogon seems to be taking orders i guess i mean he's taking her where she needs to go and she came he came and yeah didn't kill everybody when he showed up yeah i mean i don't i i'm sure the dragons would differentiate between the the people of the city and you know if they listen to orders maybe not the two downstairs i don't know maybe not it's interesting though although they Tyrion said they have been said to be more intelligent than a man more intelligent than a man yeah so i but as we saw with Edmure, if you're in captivity, you don't really think that straight. No. I don't know. We'll see. That's interesting, though. Although he, Tyrion did unchain them. He did. He did. They're friends. Yep. Okay, uh, it looks like that's going to be it for our questions, because we yep. just ran right out of time. Uh, make Next week is in episode nine. We're definitely all going to be here. Yes. Aaron and Melanie, I think, are going to do their reaction to this episode as well, so look out for that. Yeah. Um, I don't know about Shane... Um, but we'll all definitely be back here for nine for nine next yeah. week. So look out for that. Make sure you guys are leaving questions on Twitter for it. We uh, we we try to watch these right after uh, the show is aired. So um, we should be able to. If you watch the episode, you should be able to put your questions down. And we'll get to them that yeah. night. Okay, and there'll be no delay that week. No way. Okay. Mm, no. Yeah. All right. No. Okay. So uh, that's gonna be it. We'll see you guys back here next week. And get down the description. All links to our social media down there. Blindwave.net. If you like what we're doing here at Blind Wave with Game of Thrones and you want to support us, you can go to our Patreon campaign, um, which today crossed over two thousand bucks. You see Is that? It really? Yeah. We're getting slow. We're slowly building to all of those goals that we oh, have there. That's so amazing. And it's gonna be great. Like, if we can get to the point where we're doing this full time. Stuff like this isn't going to happen where it's like, oh, we can't do it tonight. Uh, it's too late. We'll yeah. do it at 8 o'clock the next morning because right? we're going to work. So, anyway, uh, that's it. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. And we'll see you next time. I'll do it. Oh. <laughs>